What's up everybody, this is Alex here, and today we are reviewing the Guardians of the Galaxy. Now in my opinion, I really like this team, it's really strong, it has some unique assets to it, but the most important thing about this team is its survivability. It does good in Fear of the Darkness, it does good in Blitz, it gets the job done for whatever you want to do. So, without further ado, let's take them into some Blitz, shall we? All right, so this is what you start off with, Rocket. Rocket is always your best tankiest character. Now he's, with his second ability, he's gonna get an assist from Groot and a random guardian. So it's a very good ability to almost one hit somebody. It's like Luke Cage, for example. Boom, boom. All right, this left us at a good, a good pace. He's almost dead. We can put the blind on him and that generates energy for Rocket to do his special, or his ultimate. The ultimate is the most important thing he can do. Because if he does his ultimate, oh boy, can he do some damage. And it's fun. Just you wait. Just you wait. And that's always good when Mantis has charged because it gives him stunned. And stunned is always a good thing, believe me. Especially against him. And then this ability you have to do when it's Groot's first turn. Watch this. Ready? Mind blown. Boom! Everybody gains death proof and defensive up. Now what I like to do is Drax is just my main taunter. That's all he does. Now, here we go. Rockets, ultimate. Let's do this in, in one. Ready? Oh, it's so satisfying. They're all dead. And then you can always heal with Mantis and she gives regeneration now. Now this ability is good if you want to almost one hit kill anybody. Like that that's what it will do. It will automatically, like almost automatically, you know, one hit kill somebody. Very good ability. Now here's another cool thing about Guru. It's something you probably didn't know. This ability? See a stun? Stun is gone and he keeps his speed bar. Didn't see that coming, did you? It's alright though. I didn't either. Alright, and then he's gonna finish her off. And you know, he gets to go. Boom! Great team. Best in Blitz. Well, yeah, they're really good in Blitz. They're really good in Arena, too. I'm, I'm going to take them into Arena in a little bit here. All right, she is getting charged again. We just keep getting lucky by the moment. Let's try to kill out Night Nurse. No. She taunted the stunner. Hmm. A taunt's gonna kill us. Oh, but we killed her though. All right, like we said, we always do that ability gives us death proof and everything. But he did his ability. Don't like that ability too much. I like that one though. Ah, uh, we can just hit one. I mean, let's save the heals. You really want to use your healing powers. Definitely, when one of these guys are down. This, the third ability of Mantis, will transfer health. This will heal everybody, but this splits it equally. It redistributes it. So if Rocket's down to a little sliver and she has full health, you might want to do that. Very good ability. And then we can always, this is my favorite. You get to blind and he generates two ability energies to random adjacent allies. Hopefully Rocket, which it normally happens. And Rocket has that AOE. Once he gets the AOE, game over. Very good. You can also use Gamora on this team, but I use her in a Hero Brawler team just because it's a lot better. Especially with her. Oh, I love that move. I love that move. I love it. Goodbye. You can also use Yandu to replace Star Lord, even though Star Lord's the main fuel that runs it, but he's. If you don't have Star Lord, you can always use. Yeah, dude, it's not gonna be as good, but it's still gonna be a team, you know Rocket's very powerful. Make sure you grind him once you're able to see I really don't need heals You can save them for a long time because these guardians are like, you know, harder to defeat sometimes But we'll definitely get him into the raid after this battle and Or the arena and it'll get pretty good it'll get pretty intense pretty more powerful than the splits but yeah, they won. They're pretty good. All right, we've taken them into Blitz. But now, let's go take them into Arena. Cut. All right, we are currently in the raid. We got a pretty tough team we're going against. I'm not going to lie. 
guys, but I think if we can get to crossbones in time, we can do pretty good. So of course we're going to want to try to get Drax down as fast as we possibly can because he's really a tank. I did that to give him energy to Rocket, remember, because Rocket, ooh. Now, I know I always said to use this ability, but since everyone has bleed and defensive down for two turns, you don't want that. You're going to want to clear that right off the bat. He's going to taunt, so no, we don't have to really worry about him getting through to more of our squishy characters like Rocket. Hopefully this might kill him. No. He's going to blow up if we don't if we don't hit him. So we're going to have to. Even though our guys could use a little bit of healing. Not too bad though, actually. Alright, well he's not going to... Ooh. Mm, yep, now it's time to use that ability. It's time... Let's, let's kill off Yandu. He's getting in the way a little too bit. We're going to heal because our guys aren't feeling very great. Try to knock out Drax. I'm getting kind of sick of him. So yeah, he's going to taunt anyway. Ooh. Okay, that was a tough hit. But we, we pretty much got this. Uh, we're going to blind, and that's going to even give us more of an edge. Transfer health. These are still a little down, but not too bad. Now they're now they're all much pretty pretty good. He dodged. He's going to be gone. Yep. And then he gets deflect. Perfect. He's going to jump on him. He's going to hit. And we can pretty much auto it. We have defeated him in raid. That was super easy. Super easy. We might lose. No, we're not going to lose him. Okay, that's good. Yeah, but Star-Lord's really... in Star-Lord and Mantis... No, Star-Lord and Rocket are the two that really fuel the team. Star-Lord's giving out energy, Rocket's doing the AoE, and if you just do that combo over and over and over and over again, nothing will change but your point score because you always win. So, pretty good. Now time for me to analyze what kind of orange mats gear to put your characters in. Top three for Guardians. So let's go to... Oh. Yeah, here we go again with the Marvel Strike Force offer. Yet again, I have to click this. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. How many times have you had to click these stupid offers that pop up all the time? Let me know how many times you clicked this X. I've clicked it at least 100 times. At least maybe 500 times. And I clicked it again. So maybe 501. It's ridiculous. All right, Guardians. Yes, Guardians. Perfect. Gee, Guardians. Okay. Here's my Guardians team. As you can see, I don't use her, but she's my Brawler team. She's way better in the Brawler team than this team. She just fits better. So first, our top three orange map abilities. Really, in this one, there's only two. But if you want to go the extra mile and upgrade three, I got the extra one for you. So first, Star-Lord passive. Why this, Alex? Well... You generate one to two ability energy for adjacent allies. So on your turn, you 50% chance originally to generate one ability for an adjacent ally and generate one to two abilities for uh, the guardian, you know, allies. So their ability energy, you generate it. All the other guardians collect it. But in this case, the adjacent ally, you have a chance to generate one to two. So this is a good thing if you have rocket on your team. Here's why. 50% of the time, so like every other turn, Star-Lord's turn, he'll generate ability energy for Rocket because he's the only adjacent ally. And sometimes he'll get one to two, where in this ability, if you don't have it, it's only one. On top of that, you generate one to two ability energy for Guardian allies. So that could be Rocket randomly. That is just all about RNG there. But if you can, Rocket will be amazing because you're just feeding them that energy to give them that aoe that does tons of damage and on top of that without the tier 4 ability upgrade you also get 30 damage so it's also good for rocket so yes this ability is a must but for me i haven't upgraded it just because i'm waiting for magneto and nick fury but that's a different story this is the guardians uh marvel team up episode so let's let's get back onto it second one i would say is groot's passive now i haven't worked on this because there's other characters i've been really focusing on 
But the thing is, when Groot is attacked, always apply slow to attacker for one turn! It used to be two turns, but they dumbed him down without telling anybody. But that's fine, because automatically, when you shoot Rocket, or, you know, with you use Rocket's guns for a special, he taunts. And when he taunts, people like, you know, people can only attack him unless you have Drax and him taunting at the same time. But still, if Groot is taunting and everybody's hitting him, they are getting slowed down. So that could possibly mean that a Guardian can take another turn before the opponent. This is like crucial especially if crossbones attacks Groot and gets slow and a guardian knocks him out just in time before he explodes great second uh option for an ability to level up i would definitely do this but like i said you know been waiting for different people for this i've been saving it lastly this ability isn't really a must have but it's really good star lord special yes why did i choose the star lord special not only does in this one it applies to a third target not only does it apply it to two targets but now it has a 50 percent chance to apply it to a third this could mean the difference of giving it to mordo so he don't go up and show up and blind on your guys instead star lord blinds him so he doesn't blind you this is a great ability because blinding three people is a great opportunity to be able to take less damage and to attack you know while they're blind so they don't you know kill one of your guys it is a great ability but not a must have like his passive and Groot's passive so that is my three orange mat abilities let's get on to some more gameplay all right guys overall this team is really good i would say it's well averaged like well balanced team it is amazing pure great i'd give this team um in war they're good on either side you can use them in offense or defense they weren't good either way so whatever you want to put them on they're really good either way in arena they are i'd give them about an eight out of ten they are very good i mean there's more modern teams that you can use like the x-men but they are just amazing um in in Blitz, also, I'd give them a 9 out of 10. They do really good. They're always, you know, defeating other players. They're always meeting up to their expectations. Rocket just, like like you just saw, he is just an amazing character. I would always use him. And then in Raids, I'd give them about a 9 because you use uh, Mantis. And Mantis is really good in Raids. She does special things in Raids. She is also a very good character. She's made the Guardians a lot more playable in you know recent uh raids as well so overall i give this team a 9 out of 10 uh that's i was really hesitant about the 9 out of 10 because i know there's a lot of better teams out there like power armor and stuff but they're more of like a 10 out of 10 like a 9.5 because they're good but yes this is a solid team 9 out of 10 definitely recommend you can get rocket in the Reliance Raid store. I don't know if he's up here. Let me check. Nope, but he will show up here. And then in Arena, you can get Drax. In Blitz, you can get Gamora and Mantis. So for me, I recommend you go for Mantis more than Gamora at first. And then later on, get Gamora because, like you saw, I'd rather use Mantis than Gamora. You can get Groot in a campaign node. Uh, let me check which one it was. So Groot in the campaign node, you can get him in the Nexus 2-9. Very easy to get to. You can just use low-level characters and they'll get you at least to Nexus 3. So you can definitely easily grind him. Rocket's going to be a little tough on the other hand because you can find him in the raids like I showed you. And then Star-Lord you get when all your Guardians or Ravenger, so that's a pretty cool twist, is at five or higher stars. So I use Drax, Mantis, Gamora, Gru, and Yondu. Now Yondu is a Ravenger, but he's a really good Ravenger, and you can also grind him in Heroes 1-9. So this is like at the start of the game, you can grind him very easily. So I do recommend the first thing you do if you just started the game. Go after your Guardians or Defenders. I would say Guardians are solid. They will get you through anything. They'll get you through raids and arena. So my final opinion, 
Is the Guardians good? You're darn right. They are amazing. So definitely get your hands on these guys. Make them your one of your Blitz teams. Make them a raid team. They're really good raids too. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like these Marvel team-ups, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe down below if you are new. And if you are not new, thank you for staying with me through all these videos. I really appreciate the love and support. And of course, as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Alex, out!